Hi guys, in today's video we are going to discuss about the recording node. Uh, recording node is nothing but uh, how to record your or the user or customer voice input during the IVR journey. Okay, uh, there can be many use cases for those like uh, how to integrate with the dialog flow or legs. You can capture the voice, pass to the this NLP system, and it can give you the in intent. Along with that, uh, you can also integrate or it is required for voice biometric solutions. Uh, it can be from the Nuance, it can be voice biometric group, pin drop and all those things. So moving into the call flow. Uh, OK, over here, uh, you see the recording node is there. Uh, usually you can select prompt and collect. Uh, under that, if you click the drop down right, so you will see the record node. So I will put the record node over here okay let's double click move to the speech project and connect and let's name it something like collect input okay okay so let's see what other things we required over here Okay, uh, in the uh, once you select the record node in the properties, right? So you can define how what's the maximum length you required. So we will go with the 10 second audio sample we required maximum. We will go with a three second maximum silence. So that's usually the standard where the user input is completed and there is a silence for three seconds. Uh, we will have false DTMF permit. DTMF permit means you can specify if uh, after the voice sample user have to press any key or not so we will go with false since we are going with the max silence so if user is state silence for three seconds we will assume that user input is completed and uh what is it we will complete the recording session okay prompt uh, i have already created the one so i will not go there so let's say one seven six three i created last time and we are not testing for no input okay so next will be the data node now why we require a data node so by default uh, in uh, uh, recording sessions right uh, recording audio files or anything so these are get generated in the temp folder right uh, and if you don't want the temp folder to be deleted after the call ends right so it clears after each and every call so you have to mark the uh, uh, delete the temporary for folder after, as false. So let me show you how. Let me save it and click on edit. Okay, so over here, right? So what we will do is my session uh, that we get from here. If you see, and. Uh, delete something was there and then set delete yes over here so set delete temporary files equal to false so now it will not delete the audio files which we will record okay now how to get the file name right so for that what we will use is my session variable dot get variable field okay so our is i project variables dot what was the name we have given collect input right and in that i project variables dot field value okay now what field we required is its value get string value okay done now we will store it somewhere so let's say string file name something like that okay what we can do is do syso file name now so this will give you the file name we will play it also but i'll just show you that how to get the file name and how to get the path okay so usually you will get the absolute path 
so absolute what is that gate absolute path uh temp directory path yeah okay and we will put it somewhere like string file or maybe path and print it out also uh, what is that path okay all set so what we did is we recorded we we recorded we get the file name we get the path now you can collect the part during the runtime and perform any activity that you want to do okay or it can it can be like uh, uh, what is that invoking alex it can be invoking a dialog flow or it can be uh, making a voice biometric call all this thing please record you voice input uh, this is just for the testing X, Y, Z, one, two, three. Uh, yeah, that's all I guess. So if you see over here in the console, can you explain please? Thank you. We got the path. Okay. Uh, so this is the file name which is recorded. And this is the path where your file is currently present okay and how to access is anyway you have to do a string filter like uh, substring using the last index of this one and get the file name and append to this one so you get the file so let's open this location I've already opened actually but uh, so if you go over here we have two files let's get the date created uh so right now is 14 13 so this will be the file the earlier one i tested and when it's load okay uh this is just for the testing xyz one two three uh yeah that's all i guess yeah so you got the recorded file you got the path now you can play with it uh, uh, play with it uh, or send it to any of the external system apart from the wire okay uh, that's all from the video as always like and subscribe thank you